Learning a new software application can be frustrating, in part because it involves entering an unfamiliar environment where your existing skills and abilities don't apply. But people don't start from a blank slate. Children grow up playing video games and using simple apps before moving on to the more sophisticated software required by their changing interests, careers, and creative endeavors. To ease the learning of new software, we introduced the idea of cross-application bridges that start with the interface of a familiar application and gradually change their interaction model, tools, and appearance to match that of a new application being learned. To investigate this idea, we developed Blocks to CAD, a cross-application bridge between Minecraft-style building games and 3D solid modeling in Tinkercad. The user starts out in a traditional Minecraft interface, where they can walk around and build one block at a time. As they go about their normal activities, the system monitors their behavior and unlocks new capabilities in scenarios where they are likely to be useful and appreciated. The first new capability to be unlocked is the Tree Stamp tool, which allows the player to quickly create multi-block trees and introduces a third-person perspective. Use of the Tree Stamp tool unlocks 3D navigation widgets, which introduce the user to more efficient 3D camera controls centered around a pivot point. In response to the user building basic shapes out of blocks, a Shapes tool is unlocked, which allows the user to build with draggable 3D solids. These are converted to blocks upon returning to the first-person view. In response to building tall stacked structures, the ability to resize 3D solids is unlocked. Finally, use of the previous set of capabilities unlocks Tinkercad's Work Plane tool, which enables more advanced positioning of solids on the tops or sides of other solids. At this point, players are effectively doing 3D solid modeling in the interaction model of Tinkercad. To evaluate Blocks to CAD, we conducted a user study in which half of participants used the prototype with feature unlocking enabled, and the other half of participants used the prototype with feature unlocking disabled. Participants were then asked to perform transfer tasks in Tinkercad. Our findings show that participants were able to transfer skills they had learned to Tinkercad, and the unlockable tools did not decrease enjoyment or increase the cognitive load of playing the game.